Hey Hoosiers, I'm Riley. I'm the coordinator for personal training at Recreational Sports and today I'm going to be taking you through one of my favorite lower body workouts in the strength gym. The strength and cardio spaces are some of our most popular spaces at Recreational Sports. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite equipment that I use to get a workout in. We're going to start our lower body day with a back squat. First I'm going to start by showing you how to adjust the squat rack. So to start, I'm going to remove the bar from both racks and set it down on the safety bars. From here, I'm going to pull this pin, bring this up, and then it should just slide right out. And you're going to do kind of that same thing to put it back in. So pull the pin, let it slide into place, and then it should sink down and lock into place there. Once you have both racks set up at the same height and the number is the same on each side, you can then grab your barbell and put it on the rack and you'll be ready to begin squatting. Before I place the bar on my back, I use my thumbs to mark the middle so that the weight is evenly distributed throughout my movement. From there, I will place the bar at the base of my neck, kind of up on my traps, unhook it from the racks, and then set up my feet to wherever feels comfortable, usually around shoulder distance. From here, thinking about keeping your core tight, you breathe in, sit into your squat, try to get down to about parallel, breathe up, come up to the top. Squats are a great movement to really target all of lower body as well as core since you are in charge of keeping that weight up on your back. You should feel this movement in your quads and in your glutes. For today's exercises, I recommend doing three to four sets of eight to 12 repetitions. Next, I'm gonna head over to the hip and glute machine. This machine can be a little bit intimidating as there's a lot to set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to set up the bases. So I like to set the base platform for me up on the tallest setting. So what you do is you lift up, and then push it back into place and make sure that this little circle is latched into its spot. I like to set it at the highest setting. I'm about 5'3". If you are taller, I would recommend lowering it a little bit. From there, you're gonna set up this lever attachment. So since we're gonna do hip extension, I'm gonna set this up as high as I feel like my hip will be able to go through its range of motion. Now that I have the machine set up, I'm gonna walk you through a few reps. So go ahead and step on the platform. And from here, you're gonna bring this leg up and over onto the pad. You wanna have a little bit of space between your two legs so this pad doesn't come around and swing and hit you in the leg. But from here, I'm gonna hold myself stable with my arms on this pole here. I'm gonna breathe out as I drive my hip back behind me, really focusing on squeezing my glute, and then breathe in to bring it back up towards the top. So the main goal here is really just to control the movement in both directions so that the weight isn't slamming either way. The last exercise I'm gonna walk you through is a weighted step up. So down in the strength gym, we have two kinds of steps. You can use a solid box step or we have the padded plyo box step. I recommend starting with the more stable solid surface first to see how you feel as you go throughout the movement. I'm gonna be using a kettlebell for added resistance today. There are kettlebells in the strength gym as well as upstairs in the cardio gym. To set up this movement, you wanna think about having hips and shoulders squared towards the wall. You wanna kinda of think about shifting your weight into that foot that's on the box so we're not jumping with the foot that's on the floor. You're gonna exhale, really press through that foot on the box, come up fully standing. We'll breathe back in and slowly lower to that starting position. So again, we're really pressing with this foot, lifting ourselves up onto the box, and then slowly lowering and controlling again with this leg as you return to the starting position. I like to do resistance training three to four times a week for both my physical and mental well-being. At Recreational Sports, your health and well-being are important to us. We have a number of resources available to you throughout your college journey. Please visit our website for more information.